We've got five exercises lined up for this workout circuit, the first of which is a kettlebell deadlift. So let's start with that kettlebell lined up right in between our heels, sitting back into our hips, loading our glutes and our hamstrings, making sure we're still keeping our shoulders back. I want you to inhale as you lower, exhale and squeeze your glutes as much as you can as you stand at the top. Really making sure as you exhale, you're using that forceful exhale to engage your abs as much as possible. I'll show you the side angle as well, just to give you an idea of hinging through the hips, right? Sitting back into those hips, really feeling that nice smooth stretch as you go back into the hamstring, driving through the midfoot and heel, squeeze your glutes all the way to the top and exhale, forcefully to get those abs really engaged. So inhale as you lower, exhale as you stand. All right, let's get into our second movement of the circuit. Grab your loop band. We're gonna go into a pull apart. I'm gonna show you just a little bit of a different stance here kind of using a staggered stance. This way you can really engage our glutes. So if you do feel any kind of lower back uh, tension or pressure, if you're standing, this is a nice little movement here that you can to interchange to give a little bit of a different feel here using that staggered stance. So squeeze your glutes as you do so. Exhale as you pull apart, beginning to pull with your lats and finishing with a big squeeze in between your shoulder blades. Do your best to relax those upper muscles of the neck and upper muscles of the shoulder. All right, third exercise of this circuit. Let's use that very similar staggered stance here to keep your, your glutes engaged and tension off your lower back. We're going to go into a tricep extension. So you'll notice my elbow stays in a very relatively same position. And I'm just extending my forearm. And in doing so, I'm really engaging my tricep muscle. So keep your shoulder blades back here as well, and keeping your shoulder engaged and locked in place. Exhale as you extend the elbow. Inhale as you return. Nice work. Third movement here, or sorry, fourth movement. We're going to go into a high knees in place so similar to what you might do with a jump rope without the jump rope. So we're really using those forefoot here, pogoing back and forth off of the ground, and kind of acting like you're almost in like a running type motion, driving those knees as high as possible while still pounce, bouncing off of that opposite foot. Let's try this for 30 to 35 seconds or so. As you can see here as well, I'm exhaling as I bring my knee upward, and that should help with some abdominal engagement and timing as well as balance as I'm going through that. Nice work on that one as well. Last one here, we're going to do a forward lunge, but think of it in the sense of I'm stepping forward, stopping my momentum, and then dropping straight down. I'll show you what I mean. So take a nice step out forward, and you're going to stop moving forward, boom, drop straight down, targeting that position with your knee just beneath your hips. And in doing so, if you ever felt kind of knee pressure or tension doing the forward lunge, this should help eliminate that as we're not putting so much pressure in our knee and forcing the hips to get involved with this exercise. So Shoulders stay back, inhale as I lower, squeeze my glutes and exhale all the way to the top and get back to that starting position. So some balance involved here as well since we're only holding the weight in one side. I like to employ a, an alternating type of strategy here with my legs just to kind of keep things interesting and give my other leg a chance to rebound in between reps here. So if you're feeling up for it, let's go through those exercises for a second or third time and have fun.